The industry has spent an awful lot of time trying to figure out what the format should be, while consumers have already decided. So I think the consumer is the one who's telling us that um, you know they they will buy more music, um, but it has to be really on their terms. You know, if their alternative is stealing it for free, then we have to offer them a good that is at least equivalent um, in value and in. Uh, uh, technology or fundamental uh, functionality to the pirated good, right? So we need to sell them a good that plays on every device, it has good fidelity, and is available at a good price. And I think that that pressure is what just changed the policies of at least one of the majors. EMI is now going to license their music without DRM requirement, and I think the others will follow over the next, um, you know, six to eighteen months, and uh, that will be the end of DRM in music. You know, video is a, is, a, is a format that has had copy protection around it for many, many years, unlike music. The CD that you still buy today has no copy protection on it, but the DVDs that you buy and even the VHS tapes you buy have always had some form or for the most part have had copy protection on them. So I think consumers um, don't have an expectation for the most part that they should be able to buy a movie and be able to copy it a whole bunch of times. So I'm not so sure that um, you can't be successful with DRM around video, and, and the industry might be successful around that, and I don't know that consumers would have a problem with it, provided the, the DRM that they employ is one that doesn't render the video incompatible across device manufacturers, right? You have to achieve interoperability for media to sell well digitally. Interoperability. Right. Uh, I think this, is, this time will be known as the time when consumers took control. I mean, uh, you know, Time Magazine puts you on the cover and user-generated content and Web 2.0 and YouTube and MySpace. And, and this is the time, the history of the entertainment business, or just in media in general, where consumers are making the decisions about what things should be priced at, about what formats they should be in, about which artists or movies are successful. And it's no longer the content owners or the distributors who make those decisions. And that's taking some serious adjustment to business models, to executives, to cost structures. A lot of things are changing. It's, you know, it's a time of turmoil. But it's a time of huge opportunity, and I think that's what's so promising about the entertainment business is now if we're listening to customers uh, and we're really servicing them, we'll sell more media, and that's got to be the long-term goal. So uh, I'm, I'm confident that people will look back uh, at, at this time as a turning point uh, in media and will be a much more consumer-focused industry, which is good. you with me now heaven knows that you're here hi my name is david packman i'm the president and ceo of e-music that's a helicopter <laughs>